was the son of a pizza man. My name is Jay Westcott. I am the CEO of Demos Pizza here in Chicago. We have two locations. We do unconventional pizza by the slice. And that's what we're known for. We do lots of pizza specials. If you can imagine it, we put it on a pizza. I started working in pizza when I was 15. At 15 and a half, I had a job at McDonald's for two weeks. I hated it. It was the worst thing I ever did. I'll never go back to doing it. It did teach me a little bit in two weeks. But right after that, I got a job in a pizza place that was like a little sub shop also. And I got to start creating at that time, like when I was 16. I didn't do much there, but I got to play around with it. I think that got me hooked. I was working in the, in the restaurant industry. Then I had a dozen odd jobs or so before I started working in a pizzeria again. I worked at this huge brewery in Columbia, Missouri called Flat Branch. that has this massive pizza kitchen, big, beautiful wood stone oven. And I got to create the actual pizza specials there. And, and it took off from there. I was a chef for about 11 years, kind of in the interim. I did pizza at a couple places in between. Worked in another really cool brewery that was like hyper local. The owners owned a couple of farms. Um, we had a pizza program there and I ran that. One of the guys I ran that pizza program with asked me to found a pizzeria in Columbia, Missouri called Pizza Tree. And so I broke off and did that. We did that for a year and a half or so and I wanted to come see if I could make it happen in the city. And then I came here. I actually got a job at Demos just because I thought it was cool. I was like, cool, this reminds me of my pizza shop back home. I was trying to find an executive chef gig. I have two sons, they're 13 this year. And I realized that I, I didn't think I could be a, a good chef and a good dad at the same time. So I had a really good opportunity here from the founder, Dimitri, to become the general man. I like, started as a line cook to become the general manager here. I was like, yeah, sure, I like this, this is rad. Became the CEO, became the director of operations in maybe a year and a half, became the CEO in two years and nine days, I think it is what it is now. So now that's what I'm doing. We do barbecue chicken bacon cheddar ranch. That's probably the most popular slice with meat on it, and that is everything I just said. That's what's on the pizza. And then probably what we're most well known for uh, in the city is the mac and cheese pizza. Five cheese blend, macaroni noodles, white sauce that's akin to like a, like a soft soubi, so an onion bechamel. It's got a lot of nice flavor to it, finished with green onions. Those are our staples that people are super into. We just kind of do this rotating unconventional pizzas. So we have yearly, like quarterly seasonal type of specials. The elotes is a big hit, so classic Mexican street corn on a pizza. We do a Reuben around the sort of St. Patrick's time. Right now we're doing a pumpkin pie pizza. Yeah, so you got pumpkin pie base, granola with a couple of different kinds of nuts in it. And then it's actually entirely vegan pizza. So it has a vegan marshmallow fluff on top. Yeah, so those are our, that's what people like. Our culinary curator, Steve, just has, you know, a binder full of them. But I'd say when we come up with things that are entirely new for us, we do a lot of research and development. We do a lot of sort of like blind taste testing. We don't want to have any of that bias of whoever's creating it being the one that's like, this is so good and convincing everyone's good even if it's not good. I am an avid home pizza cook as well. I don't have any super special ingredients. My advice is to find a good dough recipe. Fermentation, let it ferment at home. Good cast iron skillet will help you make some nice cast iron pizzas. Maybe just some unglazed quarry tile stones in your oven will help you make some nice, get some nice crispy crust in there. Home ovens, I mean, it goes up to 550. I mean, it says it goes up to 550. It doesn't even come close. So it's like high heat, good dough, long fermentation. Play around. Demos Pizza has two locations in Chicago, one at 1615 North Damon and one at 3463 uh, North Clark, just a half block south of Wrigley Field. And we also do catering. We also do pop-ups all over the city five days a week. You can find us uh, in all corners of the city every day. We created our own website about five years ago, demospizza.com. You can order pizza from there. We're on all the services, Grubhub, Tri Caviar, DoorDash. We want to bring pizza to the city. I think uh, Demos is pretty unique in the city in that we do the unconventional toppings in a more playful way. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Chicken and waffles on a pizza, sure, let's do it. We did C2E2 pizza with Doritos and Ecto Cooler sauce. You know, I, so I think what sets us apart is really our culture, um, which is more about having fun, expressing our individuality for everybody that works here and for everybody that comes through the doors. We do pizza nobody else does, especially in the city. Last year in November, I filmed Guy's Grocery Games, a oh. uh, pizza episode. I won. Oh, wow. 
Uh, yeah, it was super rad. You should check it out. I don't promote, like, so there's people here that don't know that I did it. Uh, so I don't really talk about it. I didn't post it on my social media or stuff like that. But it was a super cool experience. You should check out the episode. I got the email from them. They invited me to go and I like almost didn't do it. Uh, everybody sort of talked me into it. I went. I'm super glad I did. It was such a cool experience. Yeah. I'm like, uh, and plus it's like, that it has the game show. Have you ever seen it? Yeah. It has the game show element. Right, right. So I was like, man, you know, like, I don't know. I would never go like try out for Wheel of Fortune or anything right. like that, you know? Did you get any interaction with the guy at all? I did. Yeah. He like talks to all the, um, he talks to all the contestants ahead of time, like one-on-one -on -one for like a good period of time. Okay. Just kind of like bullshits. And right. he was like such a, like down to earth, cool guy. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. He brought his whole family the day we filmed, so it was like he moved his whole uh, studio to Santa Rosa, California, from like LA because that's where he's from. And he like employs a bunch of his family and friends, and he like his mom teaches at the high school in the town, so like everyone knows him. He like does so much for the community there. Season 17, episode six, pizza playoffs. We did, uh, we did a couple of those specialty pizzas here that I won the episode with. Okay. So I did like a banh mi pizza, yeah. kimchi, then I made uh, sriracha honey glazed pork belly, chili aioli. Right. I did, uh, I did uh, like a fruit pizza type, cream, uh, sweet and cream cheese base, glazed fruits, uh, some like orange zest type of stuff. What else did I do? Classic pepperoni pizza. Oh, I did like a, this pepperoni three-way type of pizza. It's a pepperoni ragu, pepperoni cups, and then it gets shaved pepperoni on the top. Uh, so we did that. I, that's what I did on the episode. We did that here for a little while too. Yeah. Cool, that's my shameless okay. self-promoting. <laughs> we cut the mic off, I'll tell you about Guy for real. <laughs> All right,